Treatments for Low Testosterone. Hi, Dr. Mackey here from ProgressureHealth.com. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about some of the treatments for low testosterone. Treatment for low T is individually based and should always be followed by an experienced, trained physician. Avoid hormone replacement, either conventional or bioidentical, in men with current prostate cancer or a strong family history of prostate cancer. Supplementation. Vitamins and minerals that support low testosterone include selenium, zinc, magnesium, manganese, and vitamin B6. Zinc and magnesium combine to form a popular supplement called ZMA, which has been shown to positively influence testosterone levels. Some herbs that support testosterone are tribulus terrestris, tongkat le, also called longjack, sal palmetto, Asian ginseng, damiana, and maca, just to name a few. Now, as far as hormone replacement, as I said earlier, avoid hormonal treatment with any man that has a history of prostate cancer or a strong family history of prostate cancer. Conventional hormone replacement. I do not recommend these forms such as androgel or testogel. They're not as effective, they're more prone to side effects, and they're really just a cookie cutter approach to hormone replacement. Bioidentical hormone replacement are hormones that are designed to look exactly like your own hormones. They're more effective, less prone for side effects, and they can be individually based based on the, on the patient. These include DHEA and testosterone. The dosage forms for hormone replacement include transdermal creams and gels and injections. Laboratory testing to determine low testosterone, the reference range for laboratories across the country changes slightly, but is approximately 250 nanograms per deciliter to 1200 nanograms per deciliter. A blood level of testosterone below 250 nanograms per deciliter or the presence of three or more of the previously mentioned symptoms is considered to be diagnostic for low testosterone. Some other labs to consider are free testosterone. This is the active form of testosterone in the blood. Also, sexual hormone binding globulin, or abbreviated as SHBG. This is the protein that actually transports testosterone in the blood. In aging males, total testosterone levels are commonly lower. However, SHBG tends to increase. This increase of SHBG results in the binding of more free testosterone, which will reduce the amount of available free testosterone in the blood. Therefore, testing free testosterone is just as important as testing total testosterone. Also, estradiol. This is the form of estrogen, which is the predominant sex hormone in women, but has a tendency to increase in men with declining testosterone levels. Actually, testosterone can, act, can be converted to estrogen in men by a process called aromatization, which can lead to many of the symptoms associated with low T. For more information, please visit our website at www.progressurehealth.com.